Hello and welcome once more to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Marta. Today is the 3rd of May and this time I bring you a little bit of an update regarding the HoloLens as the new prototype for Microsoft's augmented reality headset was shown off at the Build Conference 2015. Now unfortunately Microsoft is yet to discuss the technical specifications with the press as nothing is actually set in stone. However, Ars Technica had a hands-on at build and the prototype that was on show, and of course this is very much subject to change, had an x86 processor, 2 gigs of RAM, 802.11 AC Wi-Fi and a 60 Hz refresh rate with a cut-down version of Windows 10. Now, according to the report as well, this new demo unit that was shown off looked more like a set of adjustable goggles, and the unit actually was a lot less bulky than the previous iteration, and the prototype's weight was noticeable, and they said that the model had quality sound, impressive motion tracks, tracking, despite a couple of glitches, fast spatial mapping, stunning 3D picture quality, as well as a few other improvements. However, a negative that Ars Technica actually noted was that the field of view for the device was rather narrow in both horizontal and vertical FOV. So basically in order to have the best experience with the current build you have to look straight ahead. Now this is a notable difference from the build that we actually had detailed back in January which didn't have perfect FOV but the FOV wasn't as tight as this build. Now of course Microsoft hasn't finalised the FOV, but since the headset is still in full-on development, of course, everything I've discussed here is very much up to change. So there you have it, the latest information from the latest version of the Hollow Lens, of course, as I said, very much a prototype, but it sounds interesting. FOV is definitely going to be key, though. If the FOV is too tight, well, it's going to be very uncomfortable for people to actually wear, and we'll probably have... So people will probably run into problems if, of course, they suffer from motion sickness while gaming uh, normally, of course. That problem is going to be compounded when you're dealing with augmented reality headset and, of course, virtual reality as well. So FOV is something that they just cannot mess up. So, yeah, not much to say, really. It sounds really interesting. I'm kind of glad that Microsoft has gone down a different route. I kind of expected them to do a Xbox One virtual reality headset to try and compete with the Project Morpheus and, of course, the Oculus Rift and the Vive from Valve, but they've gone in a completely opposite direction, and this technology sounds just as interesting as VR and could have a lot of applications outside of gaming. So does VR, of course, but, yeah, it's nice to see them exploring the complete opposite side of what Sony... Oculus and of course Valve are going for and of course what they are learning can of course help inform the other companies what the other companies are learning will help inform this and it seems like HoloLens excuse me is very much coming along nicely hopefully we'll actually get to get a hands on with it ourselves soon but judging from all the reports I've been reading it's very much on track to be a very interesting and potentially game changing device. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.